Hello and welcome to KD9. Academics, journalists, politicians, economists and financiers are not the only ones trying to figure out what's going on in Irish society. We're a full service advertising agency and we thought we might be able to at least help chart a course forward for a country whose brand image has been so badly damaged in the last few years. We don't claim to have all the answers. We know that the issues we face as a country are complex and that there are no easy solutions. But we also know that sometimes lateral thinking can help identify a real solution and that doing the same things over and over again will lead to the same mistakes being made over and over again. Our team in KD9 are convinced that our country needs us and we have tried to answer that call. In the end, however, you can be the judge. But we were inspired by a recent quote from the Irish musician Philip King who said that perhaps as a country we should try to imagine our way out of this crisis. These are indeed wise words, and to explain why, here is our strategic planner, Garrett Kensler. Countries are brands like every other product or service, and it's our belief that Ireland is a brand with no coherent brand image. So why is that important? Well, how a country is perceived by its own populace and by people abroad is crucial to its success or failure in almost all areas of business and endeavour. Look at it this way. Every country in the world competes for consumers, tourists, investors, students, entrepreneurs, international sporting events, arts and cultural events, international media, international government, to name but a few. Most countries, and by extension cities within those countries, stand for something definite in people's minds. France, style, fashion, elegance, Japan, technological sophistication, Germany, efficiency and engineering expertise, Brazil, carnival, fun, football, crime, Colombia, danger, drugs, coffee. Admittedly, these mental images are cliches and often untrue, but they do affect how you perceive a country and its people. So national image matters because it can influence decisions as diverse as where you holiday to where you construct your million dollar factory. Countries, cities and regions with a good reputation find that everything comes easier to them as their country's brand image goes ahead of them like a calling card. So where does Ireland stand? We've done some research abroad to try and answer these questions. Our research covered Europe, USA and Canada. We spoke to new immigrants and people who'd lived abroad for years. Ireland is currently saddled with some positive and negative brand imagery. Yes, we're seen as green, friendly, good crack and blessed with beautiful scenery and history, but we're also infamous for paedophile priests, drunkenness, Northern Ireland troubles and financial corruption. The last point is important as some of our research respondents in the hunt for jobs were encountering economic discrimination abroad. Employers knowing that the Irish are desperate for work and are presumed to work for less. There's not much we can do to address the negatives, but the problem with our nation positives is that from a branding point of view, they do not sufficiently differentiate Ireland. We're also a country not blessed with mineral resources or a climate which allows us to grow world-beating coffee, for example. So it's likely that any proposed brand proposition for Ireland would be concept or ideas based rather than resource based. To expand on this point, here's Hazel. We would contend that despite the noble historic and current efforts of government agencies like Tourism Ireland, Board BIA, Enterprise Ireland and the IDA, Ireland has a disparate and schizophrenic government promoted brand image. This means we do not have a USP or unique selling proposition. As mentioned earlier, to succeed, this USP would have to differentiate us long term from other countries in the world. It would also have to be credible, honest, attractive, not just propaganda, but rooted in a genuine truth. A long term brand positioning which Ireland could own. Here's Gary Lowe, our creative director. The Irish, the most creative people in the world. Creativity isn't just about writers and artists. Of course, it's much broader than that. Creativity lives in business, politics, engineering, science, education. Creativity exists in solving problems. Creativity is an attitude which the Irish can credibly own and promote. So, how do we get this message out there? In part two of this presentation, we'll talk about creative ways to promote our new national positioning. We don't have the budget for blanket global advertising, but every politician, ambassador, and business person speaking abroad should include the creative people line in their speech. Every concert featuring Irish artists abroad should showcase the logo. Social media can have a huge role to play. This repositioning will only succeed if the Irish people buy into the message and then, single-mindedly, sow that seed abroad.
We'll have to stay on brand and on message for perhaps years, but the alternative is the rather depressing status quo. What are your thoughts? We'd very much welcome your comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in part two.